All right, guys. Well, I hope this isn't one of my uh, famous wild goose chases that I tend to get myself on. Uh, my plan all week has been to go to this picking party out in the woods under the light of the full moon tonight uh, that I heard some brief rumor about and so uh, I've just been sitting here watching this spectacularly gorgeous full moon rise and I cannot get anyone to uh, to answer the goddamn phone whether there is a picking party going this is a long fucking drive I'm gonna take so I was hoping I was going to at least be able to enjoy this beautiful full moon and now the goddamn rain clouds have come over so uh, another full moon rise destroyed by the clouds but uh <laughs> Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about the full moon this week uh, and what the full moon has meant to me over 64 years. Uh, the, the full moon is one of my best friends that I have ever made. I, I have very few bad memories of the full moon you know the, the full moon up pretty much up until I guess what television if not the internet the full moon is uh, well the moon in general but particularly the full moon uh, has been a an experience that every culture on the planet can enjoy together. I, I mean, you can be a damn Eskimo, or you can be an Amazon Indian uh, that uh, it, it, it is the one tradition that uh, the full moon a tradition, but you, you know what I'm saying is that everybody on the planet uh, you, you can be sitting enjoying uh, the full moon rise in Donellan, Florida and know that, uh, you, you know, your, your friends in Australia, uh, your friends in Europe, wherever, are also enjoying the, uh, the full moon. It, it's one of, the full moon is one of the the ultimate unifiers of, of humanity. I, I mean, we, we all, it's, it's something that every one of us, well, and I guess unless you're blind or just uh, just unbelievably obtuse, uh, don't uh, appreciate a, a, a beautiful full moon rise. You know, I've, I've mentioned this before on my uh, <clears throat> on my very short-lived uh, Doomers and Aliens story that the full moon uh, it very well could be uh, it, it could be a lot of things. It could be my very very first memory it could be the only memory I ever have of my father or it could be the very first abduction experience uh, that, that I ever had because it happened so early in my life. I just told this story recently but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to retell it again because uh, it's, just, it's just germane to this so my father died when I was nine months old I was born in September I was born in September 22nd 1959 could somebody please look up if 
there was a full moon on September 22nd, 1959 or not, I would absolutely love to uh, know I was born under a, a, a full moon. But anyway, so my father died nine months later. Uh, so I, I, I could only have memories of this dude uh, in the in, in the first nine months of my life. So th this this hazy, weird memory that I have had my entire life going all the way back is that I am lying in my crib. I'm lying in my crib. I know exactly the, the room uh, in my house in Atlanta where this would have been, uh, where the, the uh, window looked out east. And there was the, this uh, big light outside of my window. And I, I didn't know what this thing was. I, uh, and, and then so I'm lying in my crib watching this, this uh, big light, uh, this bright light coming up outside of my uh, bedroom window. Uh, and then there was this shadowy figure that came up to my crib and it was not my mother. Uh, for some reason, my, my entire life, I have thought this little flash of, of, of weird whatever sitting in the somewhere down in my reptilian brain was a memory of my father uh, coming up to you know to let me know that uh, it's just the moon it's it, it's nothing to be afraid of now I don't know if that has anything to do with you know with the fact that uh, you know, when I kicked those space aliens' asses uh, 24 years ago, that my final showdown was in that very same room. That very same room that I have this, uh, this uh, memory of the full moon rising and my father uh, standing beside me uh, by my crib. Now, of course, the little space aliens uh, in that final encounter, they came through the other window. They came through the north window. They did not come through the east window. But uh, so right now, that should be a gorgeous moonrise that we're watching out there that's being obliterated uh, by, by these goddamn clouds. So anyway, whether that was my father or not, I, I kind of chalk up my very first memory of my life to the full moonrise. And I have made it a point uh, throughout my life to, uh, you know, to, to try to put myself in the presence of, uh, in the presence of the full moon rise. The, the, the full moon rise, it's, uh, it is one of the most, you know, elemental spiritual experiences that uh, that that I have enjoyed you know pretty much uh, like all of us every single month of my life and I always uh, do my best uh, you know to enjoy the full moonrise 
and of course I get very disappointed especially playing music uh, you know playing music with friends under the light of the full moon I, I, I mean some of my you know my, my greatest memories of my entire life have been uh, playing acoustic music uh, with friends in the in the light of a full moon uh, another uh, one of my just joyous lifetime memories which I need to get out there and do I'm, I'm I'm totally embarrassed to admit that I have not done this in way too long when it wouldn't be that hard to do is uh, at least when I was younger down here in Florida these uh, these rivers there these black water rivers like the Withlacoochee that I live on and uh, they they have almost no current so in the daylight they uh, they, they look black it's just like a, literally like a strong iced tea but in the full moonlight the these blackwater rivers are just outrageously gorgeous and uh, I used to like uh, you know, I would, I would plan uh, the, these multi-day uh, canoe trips all over these rivers down here in Florida, the Peace River and the Withlacoochee right here and whatnot. I, I would always try to, uh, you know, be camping on these river banks in, in the full moon. Uh, and paddling around uh, in the, I mean the it, it, it's so the moonlight is so outrageous on these rivers that you can paddle out there and uh, I, I mean you don't even have to you know to be high on uh, on anything just just, just, uh, just being out there in the moonlight uh, you know is enough to get you high but of course, uh, speaking of getting high, you, you know, when, you know, back in 2008 that I, you know, taking Terrence McKenna's advice to, uh, to experience these very, these various doses of these hallucinogenic plant medicines uh, strangely enough Terrence McKenna doesn't really I, I, I'm surprised that Terrence McKenna with, with, with all his talk about shamanism uh, that he doesn't incorporate the full moon in, into his advice when you're doing these, uh, when, when you're doing these, uh, whatever uh, hallucinogen of your choice, be it uh, you know, be it magic mushrooms, ayahuasca, San Pedro cactus, which is the same as peyote. Uh, but when I decided in 2008 that you know, in March, April, and May of 2008 when I was uh, you know questioning my you know my everything questioning my $22,000 Home Depot credit card and all the rest of it uh, it, it, it was an absolute no-brainer that uh, each month March April and May I uh, I did these trips, uh, I scheduled uh, all three, the, uh, the mushrooms, the ayahuasca, and the San Pedro for the, for the full moon. Uh, when you're, you know, they, they talk about set and setting 
uh, when, you know, when doing these, uh, quote, heroic doses, you know, when, when you're really wanting to do some inner work on yourself, uh, the, the number one, the number one uh, item, box to check on my setting list is, is the full moon. Uh, it just, the, the, the full moon adds a dimension to the hallucinogenic experience that uh, I, I just, I, I could not imagine, uh, I could not imagine uh, doing mushrooms, uh, ayahuasca, or uh, San Pedro, or peyote, whichever one you, you choose to do your mescaline, uh, w without doing it in the light of the full moon. I, 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 it, it just, I, I wouldn't think of it. Uh, now I've done some, you, you know, much smaller, like one gram doses of, uh, of mushrooms with, without it, it, it being critical to the setting of the experience, although it sure as hell helps, you know, e even if you're doing one gram uh, with friends, if you can uh, aim to do that in the full moon, <coughs> I assure you it will enrich your experience, and so I'm, you know, I've been thinking uh, uh, about I, I, I have not been toying with the idea of doing another five gram heroic dose of, you know, five grams of dried psilocybin mushrooms. I've done that four times. I don't think I need to do that uh, ever again, but if, uh, if I ever do, or if I were ever to be spotting anyone uh, wanting to uh, wanting to you know play around with their first deep dive into a heroic dose of any of these, uh, it, it would be my number one recommendation, almost an insistence that they do it uh, in the uh, full moon. It's You really want to be there in what I call the crack between the worlds, you know, where you have the sun going down uh, on one side of you, you know, put yourself in a position where you can watch the sun setting on uh, to the west and the full moon rise coming right up in the east, you know, right on top of the uh, sun going down in the west, and then uh, being able to enjoy the uh, the, the the full moon uh, during the night as your trip progresses. Uh, it, it's not just the light of the moon, it's the, uh, it, it's the shadows. Uh, you want to be somewhere like I've tripped on beaches or on, uh, you know, enchanted rock, this big granite rock. Uh, you you want to be uh, on water, uh, you know, where you get a uh, reflection, where the where the light of the moon illuminates the uh, surfaces so brightly that they cast the shadows. And it's these moon shadows that, uh, moon shadows are, uh, you know, I'm being followed by a moon shadow. Uh, just, just, just take on this, these godly, uh, dimensions uh, on a on a major trip, uh, and then if you can get this uh, effect called a moon glade, this really is a word. I love the word moon glade. What a moon glade is 
is the reflection of moon of moonlight uh, generally full moonlight on water uh, and uh, you, you know where it throws that where it casts that ray of uh, of moonlight rippling on the water uh, and, you, and you can follow this beam of, of light on the water all the way out to the moon uh, in my my 800 page novel that took me two years to write the main character her name was Moonglade Skyhorse Moonglade Skyhorse that Moonglades are one of uh, I, I mean even without five grams of shrooms but uh, one of my great memories and then I will uh, wrap this up uh, my very first uh, mushroom five gram dose of mushrooms I did down there on, on Padre Island uh, in the full moon it was uh, April of uh, 2008 uh, in, in Padre Island and what you really want if you can really uh, order up a you, you want some clouds I mean it's like a Sunset. You you need some clouds passing over the moon, so the so the full moon is playing hide and seek uh, with the clouds. And I remember, so I, I you know I had gone through uh, for hours. I had gone through uh, all of the you, you know the brain hammering and the. And the and the roller coaster ride and all of that and so it had been hours and hours that I had been uh, tripping and the uh, and the mushrooms were just beginning to recede uh, and which is mushrooms what I love about them is is how they they go out like a tide they uh, they don't just they're not just there one minute and gone the next they they very gently recede and you have this beautiful ride down uh, this is kind of like the you know it's kind of like the afterglow after some really good sex uh, you know, like five gram mushrooms uh, is, is just like some of the greatest sex you've ever had. And then you have this afterglow. And I remember the, the first five gram trip that I took down on this beach and, and the clouds were behaving absolutely perfectly. And uh, I, my spotter and I, uh, we climbed down from the sand dune. I had been tripping on top of this sand dune. <clears throat> and uh, we climbed down off of the sand dune and took this walk along the beach when those, uh, you, you know, with the, with the tide lapping up against the, the beach, you know, the sound of the of the surf uh, coming in and out, that sound, and the full moon was was framed by these uh, these, these outrageous uh, like thunderheads, and uh, on top of it all was this moon glade, this this, this moon glade. Uh, going off into the uh, into the Gulf of Mexico, it was it, it was uh, I, I guess that Joni Mitchell song, "Both Sides Now," about flows and bows of angel hair and ice cream castles in the air. Uh, I, I mean, that's I, I felt like I was in that song. There, there, there is no way to uh, to verbalize 
Uh, I, I, I mean, I was in heaven. I was, it was, was one of the greatest moments of my life uh, at the end of that uh, five gram mushroom trip looking out uh, you know, over that, with that moon glade and those, and, and those giant cumulus clouds, you know, the edges of them all lit up by the full moon. It was, I, I will always hold that moment as, uh, as one of the great moments of, of my life. Uh, you know, it was no doubt uh, is is one of the reasons that uh, that I'm talking to you today. It's where you, you know you you can't experience something like that and go back to a real estate career. You can't do it. Uh, all of this material. But, but, you know, this meaningless crap, uh, you know, set against something like that, you just, uh, you, you just, you know, you, you want to get down on your knees and pray. Uh, what is this light out here in the middle of nowhere? So, uh... Anyway, just for anybody who just doesn't understand the moon, I, 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 I okay, I'm going to tell one more humor, humorous story, and then uh, I will, uh, I really will wrap it up. I'm behind, beside a UPS guy out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. So, of course, now it's starting to rain. Jesus. Uh, so... When I was down in uh, Peru, uh, after I had finished writing my book, Peruvian Plunge, in 2009, I got to be friends with this guy from England. All I remember, his name was Andy. And uh, Andy was, he was 32 years old, this, this normal-looking guy from England, this little white boy from England, and somehow he had gotten the call that he was to be a shaman in the Amazon. So, and so he was following uh, this calling, and so we, uh, we, we were in Cusco together and it was the night of the full moon rise you know the outrageous uh full moon rise over uh cusco peru you know twelve thousand feet up in the andes and uh so we we, we go and uh, and and i had staked out this place uh to have dinner and whatnot you know getting ready for the full moon rise here it comes there's that there's that girl peeking out through those clouds oh man see if you were on shrooms right now that would be absolute absolutely angelic is what you would be seeing so anyway we uh so we go up there for dinner and you know i i was aiming it i was timing it so we would be done with dinner uh, before the full moon rise so we could, you know, get a drink and, and, and smoke a fatty and sit there and, and, and watch the moon rise uh, from, this, uh, from this terrace up in this little uh, cafe up on the, up on the edge of, uh, up on the edge of Cusco. So we finished dinner we have this beautiful sunset off to the west, which we just, so we finish dinner, and Andy's like he's looking for the check, ready to to uh, <laughs> to to pay for dinner and go back to the 
the hotel room and I said, dude, what are you doing? And he goes, well, what are we doing? And I said, I thought we came here to watch the moon rise, to watch the full moon rise. This was a guy who had a calling to be a fucking shaman who had come from uh, England. And, and, uh, and he looks at me like, like, what are you talking about? He goes, are, 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 you, are you saying we're just going to sit here and watch the moon come up? And I said, dude, I said, dude, do you want to be a fucking shaman? Or are you telling me that you have never watched a full moon rise? And, and, and the guy, I think he was 32 years old, uh, he had, it had never occurred to this uh, shaman want, wannabe to sit there and watch the full moon rise. And I said, sit right here. And uh, we smoked a fatty and uh, got a drink. I said, you're going to sit right here and get your fucking mind blown. He'd never done it. And I said, well, if this is your first full moon rise, brother, you're getting ready for a treat. And uh, we sure as shit had a treat. And uh, he had to admit that he had been a clueless fucking moron. 32 years, 32 years never experiencing what I'm experiencing right now. But it's never too, too uh, late to start, guys. So anyway, I will find out soon if the, uh, if the picking party is on. But you know, even if the picking party is not on, uh, I'm just gonna go find the place to watch this, uh, this gorgeous moon I it, 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 it almost doesn't matter to me if there's a picking party or not uh, because of course I have my uh, margarita poured and uh, I'm gonna sit here and uh, and enjoy the company of sister moon and uh, get a little moon medicine for my soul I highly advise anyone mushrooms or no mushrooms to get out there and get a little moon medicine for your soul while you still can oh my guys